in Namibia right now where the economy there is expected to expand to about 4.2% this year from an estimated contraction of 1% last year because of weak external demand. This expansion will be driven by gradual strengthening of commodity prices and continued strong performance of the construction sector. That's according to a recent report released by the Bank of Namibia. And joining us now on the line from Vintuk is Ipumbu Shimi. He is the new governor of the Bank of Namibia. Thank you so much for joining us, Governor. Thank, thank you, too. That's quite a big uh, forecast or quite a change in forecast. 4.2% growth from a contraction of 1%. It's pretty dramatic. Uh, why have you changed this forecast? Yes, one will have to understand it in the context of where we were in 2009. Um, as you can tell that we, you know, 2009 was... Um, well, we were right at the bottom. We, as, as you pointed out, that uh, the, the Namibian economy contracted by um, about 1%. Now, with that low base, if output jumped up a little bit, that would have a big impact. And that's exactly what is happening. We, we see the diamond sector recovering. It may not go back to the 2008, 2009, uh, sorry, 2007 levels. But um, a small increase will have a big impact on the economy because of the lower base. And that's basically what, uh, what is pulling up um, the growth forecast for 2010. Um, not only diamond alone, we have other sectors such as uh, construction, which is supporting that. I think you have already pointed that out. Um, we, we have other mining like um, uranium, which um, is also contributing to the growth um, of, the, of the economy. And... Um, and short term, that will probably be uh, a strong force pulling out the economy, um, uh, pulling pulling the economy out of um, out of the slump. But in the main, growth is really coming from um, diamond sector. Governor, I wanted to just ask you in terms of production forecasts for that diamond sector. When do you see? It's going back up to those levels that we saw in 2008, 2007. And also, if you can just give us a, your forecast in terms of those uh, particular numbers. Well, um, I think that's, that's, a, that's a difficult question because I think that very much depends on the, the external demand. Um, as you know, that diamonds are, are mainly consumed in, um, in the USA. And increasingly, it's becoming a, a, a valuable item in the, in the Indo-China area, um, China, India. That's where the demand comes from. Um, the China-India demand seems to be picking up quite aggressively. Um, the U.S. is still struggling. Um, we see some recovery there, but I guess it will take a bit of time for, for recovery to, to come back to the levels we have w uh, witnessed in the past. Um, so. That very much depends on on, um, on the, um, the external demand, which, in our view, will take a bit of time to, you know, to go back to the 2007 levels. So, in in our view, it is, is going to be a slow recovery. I think it may take uh, two or three years to get us back there. But I think one other thing that we have to keep in mind is that um, um, the stock levels are also depleting, although there are exploration activities that uh, may, you know discover some new deposit, diamond deposits. Um, but at the moment, uh, we may not go back to the, to the levels that we have seen earlier because of that mm -hmm. factor as well. So the, um, what we need to take into account is that it's not only the demand factor that um, will uh, prevent Namibia from reaching the output mm -hmm. levels that, that we have seen before, but it, it may also be because of, uh, of uh, declining stock levels. Just uh, moving on to uranium, you've said in your report that y in the near in the near future you will see uranium outpace diamonds as a key, as the key export owner of uh, Namibia and uh, job creator. When do you see this happening, Governor? Well, we, that that's our medium medium term forecast. We we think in the next four three to four years uh, we may get um, four additional mines coming on stream. And um, if that happens, that, uh, that will make Namibia a significant player in the uranium sector. Currently, I think we stand at number four. Um, so if these mines uh, commence in uh, three to four years' time, I think uranium will definitely overtake um, diamond, and it will become a significant uh, contributor to export. 
Um, as you know, the, the mining sector is very capital intensive, and, and therefore the impact on employment, although it will be there, it, it, it won't be as great as we would like it to be. Um, but definitely, yes, so if, if those uh, four mines come on stream, it, it will also have a positive impact on, um, on, on, on employment.